uh, with other words, uh, he realized that it's a way to pervert the message of Jesus and what you call Paul Jesus, because you say, well, we know now it's a Paul Jesus, not the real Jesus. Pauline, uh, pa Pauline believes. Okay, so now I can, apply, I can apply this tactic. Yeah. Uh, also, you say in the uh, early that uh, Mohammed defend uh, Jesus to the Jews in Medina when they yeah. were mocking uh, Mary and uh, this. And yeah. uh, Now I will say to you, maybe we can apply what you apply to Paul. Maybe Satan, realizing that the game is up, he raised his game up and say, okay, I'm going to bring a prophet now who is not going to deny Jesus as a prophet, but is going to deny him as a son of God and, and, God. Uh, and God and this. Maybe the, the same tactics Paul applied to divert, maybe Satan, I can say, apply the same tactics to raise the game and say, okay, I'm going to preach to Jesus, I'm going to even marry, but uh, Jesus is just prophet, no more than prophet. No, it can't be. You know why? Because if prophet, when prophet Muhammad did that, if a prophet Muhammad was a liar, prophet, remember Jewish the Arab pagans, Prophet Muhammad warned them, especially the heads of them. He warned them to accept Islam. He warned them. So the only way that they will follow him, one of the ways, if he agrees with the Jewish people, because the Arab pagans used to respect, highly respect Jewish people. So if Prophet Muhammad wanted to have followers, what he could have done, he could have agreed with Jewish people that some Jewish people will follow him because he agrees with them now. So what happened? The Arab pagans will follow him. But what he did, he would unguess them. And doing by doing that, he's going to lose followers, not get more followers. Do you understand that? I, so your argument is invalid. No. Second, it is invalid. Secondly, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi to say he defended Jesus and his Mary and Mary to get followers from Christians or something. No, that's not the case. Because also the things he said go against the Christians in the Arab Peninsula who believed he was the son of God and God. So G Prophet Muhammad's teaching does not bring no one. He's not doing favor to no one. Rather, it's showing that if he was a liar, he could have said something which could guess his statement to get more followers. But what he was saying will cause him more, he will lose more followers. But what Paul did to get more followers, to change their religion, to stop following Jesus, what he did, he claimed that Jesus appeared to him. And remember, he wants to please the Roman pagans. And the Roman pagans, they had paganism within them. So he came with his teaching, Jesus died for your sins. That is a pre-Christianity teaching. People die for you since the Trinity, the Egyptians. Let's not go in deep theology, right, no problem, things, no but problem. I want to say, maybe uh, I can say Satan raised his game up. He realized, okay, I'm not uh, counting too much on this June media to win them over, to have them. I'm counting that these things is going to become a big things and to deceive billions of people, more than, let's say, a couple of hundreds they were in Medina. If he will play their cards and say, okay, yeah, uh, let's mock Jesus and this. No, he play. That. No, but I can't but, apply but that. You, you can't know, apply you that. Can apply. No, you can't because, because why? The no, he smart Paul, no, Paul. Uh, no. You can't apply game. that because why? Firstly, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he said, worship the God who is perfect, has no beginning, no end. Satan will not tell you that. Satan always tried to belittle God. Like in the Bible, we said God regrets, God rested with Jacob, God this. Prophet Muhammad's teaching tell you to respect your parents, do this. No, the foundation, the oneness of God. The, what is distinguished Islam is the oneness of God in Islam. The oneness of God is so pure. Prophet Muhammad, when a man came to him, bound down to him, he said, don't bow down to me. Bound down to who? To the creator of everything. Prophet Muhammad, when eclipse happened, the same day his son passed away, Abraham. His companions, they said what? They said the reason is eclipse because Prophet Muhammad's son passed away. What he could have, do, what he could have de, uh, did, he could have utilized the ignorance to manipulate them, tell them, you see, look at the miracle, what happened to my son's death. What he said, he said, no, what has happened, he has nothing to do with no one's life, with no one's death. When you see it, pray to the Almighty, to the Creator. So Prophet Muhammad's biography clearly shows us he's a true messenger of Allah. One more minute because you need to go and I don't want to hijack no your time. Uh, you're right, but what if the biggest, let's say, things in the universe, just imagine from a Christian point of view, the biggest and most important things is that Jesus is exactly how the Bible portrayed it, and maybe, hypothetically for you, you know what I believe, Satan said, I have to outplay these things because it's getting uh, the truth to everybody. Let's pray that God exists, is one, all these beautiful things, except that Jesus is not the Son of God, he's, not God, he's only a prophet. Maybe this is the most pedestal, is the cornerstone, the most important things. But Jesus did not teach that. But, so he's not going look, against Jesus. Look, in the Bible you get, uh, if you read, and this does read exactly what he No, teach. no, no, wait, wait, look, look. Jesus, look, when you look, look uh, let me show you something here. I'm going to show I you who's... No, time, yeah. Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, Ishmael, and none of them came that I'm going to die for your sins and believe in me. Oh, there's three God. 
All of them came, there's one God, God is not a man. To show you who is... Uh, uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. To show you historical and a rational way, who is the fourth one. So we have all the prophets and messengers. Okay, we worship one God alone. He's not a man, okay? And no one should die for your sins. You should be responsible for your sins. Then Jesus comes, according to you. He came with, I'm going to die for your sins. Believe in me, God is a man and God at the same time. Then who comes after? Prophet Muhammad. God is not a man, the Almighty, and you be judged according to your actions. So rationally, the Prophet Muhammad, he goes in line with the Prophet and the Messengers, but Jesus, he goes and guests the Prophet and the Messengers. Maybe so the fourth message. one, no, it's not the new, no, we're talking about who's going in line, because according to the Old Testament, the uh, Prophet Jesus said, according to Jesus, said, I didn't come to abolish the law or the Prophet, I came to fulfill it. And Jesus said, all oh, hail children of Israel, our God is one God. That is the foundation to worship one God alone. Jesus said the only true God is the Father, not Him. So logically, rationally, Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet because his teachings go in line with the prophets and the messengers of the Old Testament, generally speaking. As for Jesus, according to your belief, he opposed the prophets and the messengers. Therefore, according to your belief, Jesus is a false prophet. I have to hijack two more minutes to answer that, uh, so my view. You know the story in the Bible, and also you have it in the Quran, that uh, Abraham or Ibrahim have a son, he sacrificed, asking by God, Isaac, you say Ishmael he was, you know? That was a very, let's say, from a, if you ask here 100 people, uh, if God, you pray to give your son, and after many years he give your son, to ask you to give the most so precious same, things, yeah. it's a big thing for God that's to true, ask. That's so, true. If you ask a hundred people, quick, they'll say this is illogical. I don't want to have nothing to do with this guy. This is a little bit. Uh, how I don't God know about do? that. Okay, know about. Uh, quick. Uh, if you ask uh, special people, don't have. It's not illogical. It's, it's, not, it's not logical. Because uh, Allah Almighty, because who give me that son? It's Allah. Okay. So that son belongs to yeah, Allah. Allah belongs to Allah. This is only a person who believes like Abraham. He believed yeah, so strong. That's what I'm God. saying. Yeah, yeah. He could. He was tested. Why is not illogical? Even rationally, I can explain it. So he was tested by God. You understand? Yeah. And here we have an example of how much, if you love God, you have to do for God. Even sacrifice the most precious things. And in the New Testament, we have the message of God saying, look, I must so much the human humanity that I'll give the most precious things I got, the Son of God, a sacrifice. You see, but I go, we guess. can go and tell No, but I can, I'll get and guess, because why? That is not the teaching of the prophet and the messengers. According to the prophets and messengers of the Old Testament, no one should die no, for no one's sins. In Ezekiel, he says, if you commit sin, and you do wickedness and you turn away from it, we will not be held responsible, uh, we will not be uh, held accountable for it. So what I'm saying, you, know, you could and guess the, 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 the concept and the foundation of the prophets and the messengers. For example, in the in, uh, book of Numbers uh, to, uh, uh, 19, 23, he said, God is not a man that he should lie. God is not son of man that ch ch should change his mind. In, in uh, Hosea uh, 11, 9, he said, I the Lord, not a man. So many passages shows you God is not a man. Likewise, you should be responsible for your sins and you should be responsible for your good deeds. No one should die for no one. Simple and clear. Then you have Jesus come with completely different. So therefore, logically speaking, that Jesus I go and guess the most important thing that God's been teaching the prophets and the messengers for centuries. Shamsi, come on, wake up. Let's depart in peace. Barakla. My name is English yeah, John. Give you a gift. Well, lie. It's a nice gift. I will not Just read it. it. Thank you very much. Uh, my What's name is English John in English. English John. I might see you in about one month because I have to go from England uh, next hopefully Tuesday, you, inshallah, on the 6th. And hopefully we're going to discuss more about this. Inshallah ta'ala. But as I, I will prefer not with so much people. Yeah, no, I, don't want, one. I don't want to, to have a clash of ego. You know, yeah, no, no, we just pray in the beginning and share one or two things why I want I love that. to share with you. Okay? Inshallah ta'ala. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Have a nice holiday, yeah? Thanks a lot. All right. You're going to Romania, yeah? Yeah, to Romania. All right. say, say hello to the family there. All right, inshallah. Take care of yourself. Barakallah. Mashallah, it was a nice discussion with him.